Support Name Explain on Patreon for ad-free videos, exclusive podcasts and blog posts, and to help choose what names get explained. Click the link in the description. The island of Ireland is made up of 32 traditional counties, though if you are familiar with the island, you will know that these 32 counties by no means make up just one nation. This is because the island of Ireland is home to two different countries. The majority of the island is made up of the independent nation of the Republic of Ireland, and the northern tip of the nation houses Northern Ireland, one of the four nations that make up the United Kingdom. Of course, this has created all kinds of confusion and annoyance over the years throughout Ireland history. In the sake of names, however, we're going to put those differences aside for just a short amount of time and cover all 32 of these counties, both the ones of the Republic of Ireland and the ones of Northern Ireland. This is because all these counties are really worth looking into, and these two nations' histories are so intermixed that I really wouldn't be giving you the complete history if I didn't cover them all. So let's put our differences aside and find out how all 32 counties of Ireland got their names. Though some quick ground rules, I'm going to be using the English names of these counties. However, they also have Irish names too, which while a lot of them sound different, they actually have the same etymological roots. Also an interesting quirk with these county names is that the actual word of county precedes their unique name, so be prepared to hear me say the word county a lot. Also just to cover all our bases, the word county unto itself comes from the Latin comitatus, meaning jurisdiction of account. Let's start things off with the counties of Northern Ireland, with the northernmost of those being County Antrim. This county is named after one settlement within it, the town of Antrim. The name of this town comes from Irish and means either Lone Ridge or Lone Dwelling. I imagine the name means that when this settlement was founded, it was just a lone person living there. As we continue on in Northern Ireland, we have County Londonderry. Likewise, this is named after the settlement of Londonderry. The Derry part of this name means Oak Grove. As for why it has the UK's capital's name at the front of it, well, that's a whole thing. We have a video about it, and yes, the county is also known as County Derry too. County Tyrone means Land of Owen with Oren being an Irish first name. It seems someone with this name ruled the land here in the past. What's interesting about this one is that Tyrone has gone on to become a popular first name in its own right. County Fermanagh means men of Mana, which roughly translates into men from the county of the lakes. Then we have County Amar, which means Matcha's height. Matcha was supposedly a Celtic goddess important to this land. And then we have County Down. Fittingly, this country is rather down lower in the nation. Down is simply an Irish word for fort, so I imagine that this county must have had an important fort in it. Though that covers the six counties of Northern Ireland, the part of Ireland which is part of the United Kingdom. Though despite being called Northern Ireland, the northernmost point of the island of Ireland actually belongs to the Republic of Ireland. This is with County Donegal. This too comes from Irish and means fort of the foreigners, with these foreigners being Danes slash Vikings who must have had a settlement in this land. It might seem odd to think that Vikings got this far, but if you remember our Icelandic naming video, we talked about how Vikings would make pit stops in Ireland to pick up women and slaves. Classes ever Vikings. Though below Northern Ireland, we have County Monhan. This name simply means hilly land due to the geography of the region. It's also thought to translate into English to mean bushy slash hilly field. And below this county, we have County Cavern. This translates into meaning the hollow, with a hollow being a large wooded sunken area of land. Before we continue, it's worth stopping here, as these six counties that make up Northern Ireland and these additional three counties of the Republic of Ireland actually come together to make up the northernmost province of all of Ireland, Ulster. If you are familiar with the history of the island of Ireland, then this name is most likely somewhat familiar to you, most noticeably with the plantation of Ulster, the name of the colonisation period of this area of Ireland by Great Britain. Many people seem to think that Ulster equals Northern Ireland, and while all of the nation is in Ulster, Ulster also expands into the Republic of Ireland too. This is why I said we have to cover all these counties as their histories are so intermixed. It seems some also think that Ulster is just the Irish name for Ireland, but that isn't the case. That name is Ear. Ulster comes from seemingly pretty unknown origins however. It seems to mean the men of Ulhai with Olahai being an ancient name for an ancient tribe of people who lived in this land. Ulster is just one province of the island. The island of Ireland is split neatly into four provinces, one in the north, east, south and west. So as well as looking into the counties, we might as well cover these provinces names too, considering that we just covered Ulster. 
island's westernmost province is called Connaught. It seems that this province's name comes from an ancient mythical kin, that being Con of the Hundred Battles. Can you by any chance figure out how many battles he fought in? This province's name was also formally spelt as Connaught. There are five counties in this region, and of course all of them belong to the Republic of Ireland, starting with County Leitrim. This name simply means Grey Ridge. I guess this reflects the county's geography. Carrying on, we have County Sligo. This name sounds somewhat like the name Slug, and in all honesty, it isn't that far removed from Slugs. The county is named after mollusks, just not slugs. Sligo's name means shelly place slash abounding in shells. This is because there are many shellfish in the waters of this county. Like I said, it's kind of named after slugs. County Roscommon comes from Irish and means a commons woods. This county was named after St. Common, who founded a monastery in the county many years ago. County Mayo is unfortunately not named after Mayo mayonnaise, as cool as that would be. In fact, this name simply means plain of the yew trees, as there must have been a plain full of yew trees here once. Then we have County Galway, the second largest county on the island. County Galway is a very popular part of the nation, so much so in fact that we have an entire video dedicated to its name, well its name and the Scottish region of Galloway. This county is named after the city of Galway in it. It means something along the lines of Stony River, as I imagine there are many stones in one of the many rivers in this county. Ireland's easternmost province of Leinster has 12 counties, far more than any other province. The name of this province itself seems to come from an ancient tribe that once lived here, the Lannin. The northernmost county in this easternmost province is County Lau. This county's name has mythological origins. It seems to be named after the Irish god Lau, who was the sun god and known for his many skills apparently. What exactly those skills were however I'm not too sure. There's also County Longford. This name simply means port slash river fortification, which is a reference to the Shannon River that runs through this county. County Meat in the past was a very important area. It's where the High Kings of Ireland's past resided. This is why the name means middle slash center, as it was the center of the Irish government. Also, it's somewhat in the center of the island too, I suppose. To the west of County Meath is County Westmeath. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you can all understand how this place got its name. Though this technically means West Middle, so can we get a poll going to officially call this area the Irish Midwest please? Anyway, moving on we have County Offaly. This name seems to come from somewhat obscure roots. It seems to be the anglicised form of Ulflary, the name of an Irish kingdom that once resided here. Next door we have County Laish, which is thought to mean the men of Lugalagian, who was a man of importance in this land. What's of interest about these last two counties is their former names. They were known as Kings County and Queens County respectively. They were given these names in 1557 by Queen Mary I after herself and her husband Philip of Spain. These counties would have these names until Ireland gained independence. County Kildare is too named after a town with the same name, with that town's name meaning Church of the Oak. Perhaps there was slash is a church by some oak trees in the area. Then we arrive at County Dublin, which of course is home to and named after the nation's capital of Dublin. So for this one we have to understand where exactly the name Dublin came from which is too something we've covered in the past. It simply means black pool, in reference to the dark waters of the river that run through the city. Either those dark waters or another black liquid the city is known for. Below County Dublin is County Wicklow. This is actually the name of Norse origins and means Meadow of the Vikings. Interestingly enough, County Wicklow actually does have a completely different name in Irish. Its Irish name of Kilimantine means Toothless One, in reference to a story about a saint who had his teeth knocked out in a fight in the area. County Carlo Blower, however, doesn't seem to have an as deep story. It simply means place of cattle. Then we have County Kilkenny, named after the city of Kilkenny. This name simply means the Church of St. Kenneth as the settlement must have contained a church built in his honour. Despite the sound of the name, its namers weren't big fans of South Park unfortunately. Finally, in this province we have County Wexford. This is another Viking name meaning Fjord of the Mudflats. Like Wicklow however, this place has a very different name in Irish, that being Loch Garmon. Loch means lake and Garmon is thought to be the name of a legendary figure in the land. Then we have the counties and islands southern province of Munster. Munster is home to six counties again. The province itself is named after the legendary Irish figure of Moor Mumman. 
Unfortunately, this province isn't named after the 1960s sitcom slash beastly family of the same name, as cool as that would have been. County Clare simply comes from the Irish word for a plane, and while Clare has become a popular name unto itself, it seems that these two are not related. County Tipperary is named after the town of Tipperary. This town's name simply means well of the Ara, with the Ara being a river that runs through the town slash county. Likewise, we have County Limerick too, which is named after the city of Limerick. Despite now being home to a busy city, Limerick actually means a bare spot. I guess at first there wasn't much here. Also, there once was a man from Limerick. Just saying. Anyway, moving on we have County Waterford, which is Viking 2 and means Ram Fjord. This one has the unique Irish name too of Port Laga, meaning Larag's port, with that being the name of a former important resident. County Kerry has also birthed a popular first name too, and unlike Clare, the first name and the county are related. County Kerry's name means people of Kiar, with Kiar being an Irish word for dark slash black. Maybe these people lived in the shadows, as I can't help but think that this wouldn't relate to skin tone in Ireland in the past. And finally, we have Ireland's largest county, County Cork, and its name simply means Swamp. The counties of Ireland were suggested by Prometheus Castle Rock, and thanks to their suggestion, they will now be honoured as name explains patron saint of the counties of Ireland. Do you have a good idea for somewhere that's name could be covered in a name explain video? If so, then please consider donating on Patreon. Just one dollar a month helps keep the channel running and earns you a weekly chance to suggest somewhere to be turned into a video, and you too could be a name explain Patreon saint. Thank you to all my patrons who support Name Explain on a monthly basis. Patron is vital to Name Explain, and donating just $2 a month allows you to enjoy ad free videos and bonus patron exclusive content. It also allows you to help choose what names get explained in upcoming videos and gets your name here with all these awesome people. Thank you so much for all the support you guys give Name Explain. Thank you so much for reaching the end of the video. Check out another video and subscribe to stay in the loop on all things Name Explain. You can find me on Twitter where I'm at NameExplainYT. On Instagram, I'm also NameExplainYT. And on Facebook, just search Name Explain. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. And once again, thank you all so much.